Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer and welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling, the channel dedicated to wrestling and video games. Thank you so much for clicking on this video where I will be unboxing my brand new Eddie Guerrero Legends Series 8 figure that I picked up at Target. It's my very first unboxing and my very first Eddie Guerrero figure so I'm very excited to talk about that get into all the details of why I got this figure why I'm making an unboxing video and sort of my new journey in collecting wrestling figures but first thing I want to do is I just recently made a video on the AEW games announcement it was my first video in a very long time and I gotta say I was blown away by the positive response to it not just what i had to say in the video and what i talked about people seemed very receptive to that but also the fact that i hadn't made videos in a very long time and it was great to see all the love all the heartwarming comments about seeing my face again seeing me back talk about wrestling so thank you so much for that if you're new to this channel or you haven't seen that video make sure you click the i i don't know i don't remember where it is one side uh if you want to watch it at the end of this video or maybe you want to pause this video go watch that one because you think the AEW games announcement is more exciting than any girl unboxing it's up to you you decide but thanks again everyone who enjoyed that video all right now we got the eddie guerrero legends series 8 wwe elite collection by mattel recently released target exclusive i think the whole line is target exclusive on the back of the box you see the line right there ultimate warrior eddie guerrero jake the snake and paul orndorff and obviously for me as an eddie guerrero fan latino heat baby i had to have this figure I'm new to the WWE wrestling figure game, okay? So bear with me if I get any information wrong. This is really, the past few months is really I started this uh, journey, if you will, collecting re wrestling figures. And as soon as I saw they were coming out with an Eddie Guerrero figure, I was like, that has to be one of the first ones I get, right? Uh, I've been out of the toy figure collecting game in a very long time. So it being a Target exclusive, I'm just opening up my knife getting ready to unbox it being a target exclusive i was like oh this should be pretty easy right i just go to target and i get it uh i had to go to th first of all the pre-order sold out on target and i had to uh i couldn't get it pre-ordered because i would have done it that way i don't like going to stores uh pre-pandemic either i wouldn't like going to stores i'm trying to unbox this thing okay i'm trying not to hurt the packaging i'm letting it breathe all right, this is what the uh, toy figure community calls it. I already opened it on one side. Should I open it on the other? Oh man, this is, I didn't think about this stuff. I don't know, like, I don't, I don't wanna keep the box, like, I don't wanna keep the figure in the box. I'm not, obviously I'm opening it, I'm unboxing it, but I don't know, I feel bad about damaging the box. Like, I'm, it's not Christmas, I'm not five. I'm not gonna rip open the box. I've seen a few unboxing videos, not just with this figure, but with other wrestling figures, um, this is more difficult than it looks. You can tell it's my first unboxing. Bam! All right, I'm gonna put them aside for now. I'll put them aside real quick. Uh, there's this little backing, WWE Legends, which is neat. It's like a, a collectible card, if you will. That's kind of neat. I guess if you like, you have them displayed, maybe stand them up, you can put that behind. I don't know if people have done that. Almost like the Lego mini figs. It always has like a backing that you could do that with. That's pretty cool. Keep that in good condition. Uh, let's look at the box real quick. That gave me way too much trouble than it should have. Everyone's like, look at this jabroni opening up this box. Like we said, we have the rest of the line on the bottom. Eddie Guerrero. This is 2005 era Eddie Guerrero. Obviously, Eddie Guerrero passed away 2005, November of 2005. So we're coming on 15 years of his passing. Very sad. Eddie Guerrero is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I have a lot of favorite wrestlers, but there's like a small group of people that I would say is my number one favorite wrestler. And it changes every day. You know, some days is Bret Hart, some days is Rey Mysterio. A lot of days is Eddie Guerrero. Uh, he's up there. He's he's always gonna be one of my number one favorite wrestlers. They have the titles listed in the back. WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, uh, Tag Team Champion, which is great. He did hold all those, but that's just the, covering the triple crown of titles in WWE. He held every single title, uh, you know, worth mentioning. Uh, so you can call him a Grand Slam champion. He also had the U.S. Heavyweight, the European Championship. Viva la raza! He would lie, he would cheat, and he would steal. 
but there was no denying that Eddie Guerrero was one of the greatest performers to ever lace up a pair of boots. After making his mark in EC Dub, WC Dub, and around the world, Eddie finally won the WWE Championship in 2004 with an impact that can still be felt to this day. There's no getting enough of Latino heat. Very nice right up there, 2004, he won the WWE Championship. Obviously a huge moment for wrestling fans of Eddie Guerrero, myself included. Uh, this is not the first time he's in the Legends line. I was doing research. He was also, his very first WWE Mattel figure was actually in 2011, which was Legends Series 6. But here it is, here's the figure, right? It's in the plastic casing, plastic mode. Pretty cool. He's The only accessories are the extra hands, as you can see, and then the I'm your papi. I'm your papi shirt. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I'm your papi. He never said it like that. Hey, Dominique, I'm your papi. He never said it like that. Uh, that's just me taking creative license. I'm gonna pop it out here. I'm so afraid to like break it. Credit to all you uh, unboxers out there. This is more, this is harder than it looks. Uh, ooh, man, that just feels good. Just feels good holding that Eddie girl. Look at that, I'm your papi. I don't know why I say it, so weird. I'm gonna stop saying it. It's a soft goods uh, shirt. That's what the the lingo is. Again, I'm new. I'm new to this unboxing game. This, you know, so they call material like this soft goods. I'm gonna take it out so I can show you. I'm probably not gonna have it displayed. Actually, I thought it was like a pullover, but it's just it's got that little Velcro on the back. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep them shirtless. Honestly, you know, like when I look at wrestling figures, I like when they come with accessories like that but I like to have wrestling figures kind of displayed as if they're in, you know, wrestling form. And, you know, they would wear the shirts to the rings, but, you know, they would take those shirts off and start wrestling. The right arm is a little tight. There we go. There we go. The right arm's a little tight. So he's got the fists. He's got, like, the pumped fists, right? Closed fists, if you will. As I mentioned, there are two hands. Let's see if I can get those out. Why is this so tough? I'm gonna have to poke it with a knife pointing in my direction that's not that's not safe right there it is there it is there it is you push the bottom you push the fingers you can't like do trial runs of unboxing because then that's you're lying if you did a trial run you know so here are the hands they're just open they're just open hands so i guess like if he has a mic you know like i don't know i think i'm gonna keep the closed fist i think i'm gonna keep the closed fist i'm not even gonna bother swapping them out keep it in the packaging Put the packaging away. A lot of people, they take the packaging, they throw it. And it's like, come on. You're just going to pick it up after the video's done. So I'm not going to do that. So the hands will, will go back into the packaging. And that's it, man. That's Eddie Guerrero unboxing. So why did I get this figure? Why did I get the Latino Heat 2005? Look at those gold boots. Damn, look at those gold boots. Those gold boots are really cool. There was actually an auction recently. Uh, Vicky Guerrero did an auction for the gold boots and I submitted five bucks. It was like for charity. I didn't win, uh, but you know, that would have been neat to have. Uh, I love his smile, like his classic, like Eddie's smile. He just looks so happy. 2005 was, was you know, his last year of professional wrestling. Let's look at the pay-per-views. He was in the Royal Rumble uh, and then at No Way Out, he won the tag team titles with Ray. This is the only other Ray figure I have, by the way. I also picked this up recently. I'll get into more about this Ray figure and other wrestling figures I have uh, in an upcoming video. I figure I have him out as moral support for this video. Um, but they won the tag team titles against the Basham brothers. But that really was part of their feud that took up pretty much all year. Uh, Ray and Eddie, that is. And at WrestleMania 21, they would face off against each other in a pretty good match. Uh, that was the match that Ray had like the open mask, like the back mask was open. And he mentioned in an interview that he it kept like falling off and he was like distracted the whole time. So it wasn't one of their best matches. Uh, but then after that, they had a match at Judgment Day 2005 that I thought was a little bit better than the WrestleMania match. Um, really fun match. ECW One Night Stand followed uh, where Eddie Guerrero and Benoit faced off. And then again, that was that standalone ECW pay-per-view that like kind of brought back ECW. Remember that? That was a really great 
great night. Eddie Guerrero obviously had roots in ECW where he had very technical matches with Dean Malenko, Chris Benoit, and others. So that was really cool to see. Then we would go back to the feud with Ray, Great American Bash 2005, uh, and then all building up to SummerSlam 2005. Dominic on a pole match. Uh, it's kind of crazy, right? If you think about it, if you're watching current day WWE, Dominic right now, this past year, he's been making his on-screen debut, uh, working with his dad, Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, or, you know, if you still believe, Eddie's the dad. What a, what a silly storyline uh, when you really think about it. But there was so much passion. There was so much fire, uh, emotion in the storyline, in the matches between Rey and Eddie. And I think that's what I remember the most. Yeah, was the match, you know, a five-star classic? Was it one of their best matches? No. Being performing at such a high caliber for someone like him for all his years you could see that 2005 wasn't necessarily his quote-unquote best work but it was still really good Eddie Guerrero on a normal day was better than 90% of the wrestlers in the, in the planet so it was still a fun feud a memorable feud we still talk about it and the fact you know like Dominic's in WWE now isn't that crazy 2005 15 years later and we get this figure for Eddie Guerrero and Dominic is on WWE TV. That's that's kind of mind blowing, kind of mind blowing to me. Uh, he lost every single singles match on pay per view that year. What's up with that? So 2005 isn't like my favorite year for Eddie Guerrero, but there are other wrestling figures out there that I don't have. Obviously, this is my first one that I would love to c collect. The first Eddie Guerrero figure released by Mattel was in 2011 Legends Series Six. It's going for really high prices on eBay. A box, it's upwards over 200 bucks. Easy. You know, good luck finding something cheaper than that. Loose, you can maybe get something like 50, 60, which I might end up doing. Like, I don't care. As long as it's in good shape, I don't need the box, right? I just want the figure. Elite Hall of Fame Series 2. Uh, the black and gold two-tone tights, which I think is essential to have i would love to have that figure and i would also love to have a figure that was released actually in 2018 pretty recently hall of champion hall of champions series it's his white and red classic like wcw style tights uh that's a beautiful looking figure so there's a few Ed more eddie girl figures i would like uh but you know this one has a lot of sentimental value i mean this guy's gold boots i love the i love always the eddie girl gold boots but you know it's 2005 it's his last year uh, I miss Eddie Guerrero, man. I think about him every day. I think about like what he would be doing as a wrestler, what he would be doing as a person. Um, uh, gonna have a lot of fun posing this as I build my wrestling collection, including it with other like pictures in my wrestling collection. I'm just gonna put Eddie there real quick because I just do want to look at, as for the other legends in the series, I really want the Jake the Snake Roberts. There's two variants of that. There's a green variant, green pants variant, which is the rare variant. It's called the Chase variant. And then there's like the pink variant, which is the normal one. Uh, I don't really want to get the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I have no desire to get the Ultimate Warrior or poor Orndor figure. As I mentioned before, I did try to pre-order this on Target. Couldn't get the pre-orders, so it always said, oh, November 1st is when it's going to come out. And around, you know, a little bit before then, I went to Target because I had heard they were already getting into the stores. And there was a Paul Orndorff on the shelves, just one. So I knew the series was out. And I asked if they had any more in the back. They said no. I went, ended up going to two more Targets. The last one I went to had only one Eddie Guerrero figure. And it was the only figure they had from the whole line. So I think I got pretty lucky. I've been back to Target a few times trying to get the Jake the Snake. Uh, and maybe another Eddie Guerrero. I don't know. I don't know if I should get another one and keep it in the box. I'm not kind of like a collect the toy and keep it a box kind of person, you know? Like, I think it'd be neat, but I want to let them breathe. Let them breathe, as they say. So, maybe if I do see another Eddie Guerrero, eh, maybe I'll pick it up. I don't know. I'm new. I'm new to this. I'm just collecting wrestling figures, so I don't know if I need extras right away, if I need duplicates right away in my collection. But I am very happy that I got this Eddie Guerrero figure, and it won't be the last Eddie Guerrero figure I get. And I hope they come out with many more Eddie Guerrero figures in the future. Can you do the, can you do the frog splash? Can you do the frog splash? Uh, I need a ring. That's what I need a ring. I, I need a ring next so I can just practice my doing my frog splash. He's got like the ab crunch. 
which is really does Ray have that? I think Ray has that ab crunch too. But like you could do a pretty good, do a pretty good frog splash. Shh. That's me attempting the frog splash. I'm in my 30s. So yeah, I hope you like this unboxing. Went into a little um sort of detail as to why I got this figure, why it means so much to me. My wrestling figure journey is very is in the is in the early stages, right? It's in the early stages. I don't have the money to get a figure every day or a figure every week. So I don't think I would be able to do my weekly purchases if you will but maybe i'll do like monthly check-ins you know if i if i picked anything up major if i pick anything else up that has as much sentimental value as an eddie Guerrero figure maybe i'll do an individual boxing again i do want to make a video sort of showing off the figures i have uh currently and talking about sort of my goals in wrestling figure collecting so i'll definitely have that coming out soon but thanks again for clicking on this video i hope you enjoy it and let me know if you got this figure if you are still on the hunt for this figure if you're gonna buy one two three versions of this if you're gonna do any swaps any colorings uh i have seen people already change sort of like the coloring on the tights and stuff like that i think that's really cool Again, this is more, I think this is closest to his 2005 SummerSlam match with Rey Mysterio, Dominic on a pole. Uh, but he wore other outfits that year that were very similar where the colors on the tights were just slightly different. And I think even there's a, like a pink version or like a red version of this. Let me know in the comments if I'm making that up, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember some sort of other variant with these tights. Uh, it's really cool what people do with how people customize their figures. Thanks again for watching this video. I am Be Better Gamer. Until next time, you know what to do. Keep watching all the wrestling.